You know, we talk about teams with uh, great logos, and this team, in my opinion, had one of the best logos of the 1960s. The Calgary Centennials were an extremely strong team, but uh, the Western Canada Hockey League really benefited from the popularity and the great uh, skaters uh, that were on the squad. And they did play in the Stampede Corral, which was the NHL home for the... Uh, the Flames for a few seasons. Now, they were a charter member of the Canadian Major Junior Hockey League in 66, and the franchise was known uh, the first season as the Calgary Buffaloes before coming to the Centennials in 68. Now, uh, this franchise had a string of successful regular seasons in the early 1970s, winning three West Division titles, but however, playoff success never followed. The Centennials only reached the WCHL Finals once, falling in four straight to Regina Pats in 74 with no disgrace there Pats were a good team best season for me was 1972 where they were 49 16 and 3 now there was a very long schedule for the league because uh, when they started they were playing uh, 55 60 games by 1977 they were playing 72 now following the 1977 season the Sentinels were sold and relocated to Billings Montana and became the Billings Bighorns the franchise today is known as the Tri-City Americans, settling in Kennewick, Washington, after stops as the Nanaimo Islanders and the New Westminster Bruins. Calgarians would have to wait long for another team, as the Winnipeg Monarchs were immediately sold and relocated to Calgary to become the Calgary Wranglers. Now, uh, the alumni of the Centennials are just tremendous. Uh, look at the players here. Don Ashby, Wayne Bianchin, John Davidson, uh, Len Freak, which we've done a podcast on, Danny Gare, uh, Doug Horble, uh, Craig Levy, uh, Bob Liddington, uh, Daryl Maggs, very underrated player, Lanny McDonald, Grant Mulvey, Bobby Nystrom, Gary Risling, Face Only Mother Could Love, Mike Rogers, Randy Rhoda, former Montreal Canadian, Ray so- Roy Sumner, Brian Spencer, Perry Turnbull, and probably the, the class uh, of uh, def- defensive defenseman of the Flyers' years, uh, Jimmy uh, Watson. Now, uh, talking about their move to uh, Billings, uh, they were in Billings for a number of years. And uh, they had a very beautiful logo as well. Now, uh, what was uh, kind of weird about uh, uh, Billings, what really stands out, uh, it was probably a, um, a, a goaltending, what they called Bastion, because uh, Andy Moog and Pokey Reddick uh, came from uh, that team. So that alone draws a lot of attention for only, you know, five or six years uh, in there. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you, you know, the best thing about hockey is logos. But just take a look at that beautiful Calgary Centennials logo. What a what a tremendous thing. That could have been a, a Canadian logo for 67 as well. You just take out the second C and you just expand it. It's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for listening. And any fans of the Calgary Centennials, please leave a comment of your memories of uh, the squad. And again, uh, the old games and the, uh, and, the, uh, and the stampede, as I say, were tremendous. Thanks for listening. Bye.